Um, you know, there's a few things, uh, you know, I can think of last year as a junior, uh, you know, when we played up at uh, SEMO, when Amir hit that game-winning shot, um, you know, that, that was, you know, that was something that I'll, I'll never forget, and that was fun, and uh, like last, like this year, um, when we played up at Drake Tournament, you know, nobody gave us a chance, and, um, you know, that's a memory that I'll never forget uh, after winning that tournament. That means a lot. Uh, you know, being that's you know that's one of the main reasons why I came to SIUE because uh, you know I wanted to start something new for this university, and uh, you know I wanted uh, you know to be remembered around my community as well for um, since I live so close, um, you know to start something good here at SIUE. Uh, you know I think the the future was good. You know um, I know you know Coach Forrester is a good good recruiter. He'll bring in the right players here. And, uh, you know, I think the um, sky's the limit for, for SIUE. And I think, uh, you, know, you know, I'll always be a fan. You know, I live close. And, um, you know, that's what's the, one of the reasons why, why I came. You know, to work hard, uh, you know, continue to work hard, even though I'm you know, not a basketball player anymore. You know, work hard and whatever, I do, whatever it is I do from here on out. You know, Coach Forrester is... Uh, instilled that in me, my teammates and I, and uh, you know, it's something I'll always take from him. Uh, I'd say my overall best experience is uh, winning the High V tournament this past year as a team. Um, I know a lot of guys get sick of buffets. I've always taken advantage of the buffets on the road. They've always treated me well. Um, during this last year in practice, Dob went down. I don't know if he dove for a loose ball or if it was maybe he got need or something, but he came back into practice about 30 minutes later with a neck brace on. And he, I think he maybe wore it for three days. Uh, it was pretty humorous. You know, it's been a great experience here. I've been here four years and I've learned a lot. Um, I know how to handle things, you know. We've, we've been through a lot here and uh, I think that um, this program will continue to do great things. You know, five, ten years from now, I see them uh, doing well in the Ohio Valley and uh, making their names for themselves. You know, I'm, I'm always going to be proud to be part of this program, and um, I think that uh, what they're doing here is great. Um, one of the most memorable ones, I think, was when a mayor hit the game in a shot. I think we were down we at SEMO. Uh, the game in a shot, um, that was really crazy. I mean, you see it on TV, but I actually experienced one of them. That was, it was really memorable. Uh, one of the biggest things I think I'll take from this is just hard work. You know, every day, day in and day out, coach always stresses the emphasis of hard work and just paying uh, uh, key attention to, to details and stuff like that. So I think just me concentrating on the small aspects in life, I think it will carry over into my career field and other parts of my life. So but I think it will be pretty good as long as the players just bear down, you know, and just pay attention to coach and do exactly what he says and I mean put their best foot forward every day. I mean, they should not be able to lose. Well, we were in practice, uh, we were going up and not running our plays and everything. And um coach was on the floor at one particular time because he called he's uh he tried to set up a certain play for the opposite team to to run and as we were coming back down on transition, he never got off the floor in time. And uh the team that was coming down on offense, which included LaShawn, uh, he like ran straight into coach before he before he actually left the floor, and he smacked like it was almost like a pancake hit the floor, <laughs> and our coach is like, oh well now you see what it's like to run into a brick wall. I mean, he was a little dazed from it, but I mean that was just a big joke for everybody because it was too too funny. It was funny, man. Cool. I had to say my first weekend as a Division One player down in Charleston, that first game we had with uh, playing against Charleston, the atmosphere that was in that new arena. I mean, we played a tough game there, came back the next night against East Tennessee State, another tough one. Then the end of the tournament off, we had the, the, our first Division I win against Western Michigan. Everybody played well. Just that feeling that we had winning that game and getting our first Division I win. Then after that, we traveled up to Madison, Wisconsin, playing in Wisconsin. So that was like one of my, my best memories as, 
that's how you basketball player. And like, it means a lot. I know I've said this to you guys like a million times before, just being a part, being a name that somebody could say, hey, well, he started the foundation. He was on the team, the first Division One team here at SIUE with so many great players that play here at Division Two, and me and part of our, my senior class being a part of the guys who started this Division One foundation. I mean, our names would be in history forever. I can only imagine. I mean, SIUE has only grown. It has grown within the two years I've been here. I mean, when I first came here, our first game, the gym had wood rails and everything. Now is perfectly nice. It's a nice Division One gym. So I can imagine five years from now, with us being able to be a part of the OVC and being able to compete with in the national on the national stage, it's sky's the limit. Funny story I could think of is uh, one time we were in practice in uh, the new part of the rec and. We're going at it back and forth, back and forth, and uh, Anthony, he probably is gonna kill me for this one, but Anthony, he always had an excuse for everything, and like he got fouled, and he kept saying, come on, man, come on, man. Forrester, he stopped the press, like, wait, hold it. Anthony, you always got something to say. You always tell him, come on, man, come on, man, shut up, man. And, like, that had to be like one of the funniest moments, because he imitated what Anthony does, so I think that's probably one funny moment. Uh, to piggyback off, Steven said, this the hard work and this, the family we're in, the people I, I've been around here, like, I mean, we built a family while I was here in two years. The guys I had no clue about, me coming from Texas, you know, Danico's coming from the Bahamas, we got guys from Serbia. We all would be able, able to come and build a family and get through hard times and get through the good times and still laugh, and I take away a lot from this program.